Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is going to be the video for this week's lesson. We're going to be doing a number of things uh, in your book, or if you have the book or if you have just the PDF for right now that's in the classroom. We're going to be doing number four, five, six, and I think possibly seven. Uh, we're going to be using the snare drum. We're going to be using uh, cymbals, and we're going to be using a tambourine and a wood or a cowbell. Um, first thing I want to go over is just playing the snare drum part for number four. If you look here in the beginning, you've got T, 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 flam, or you could say do, day, do, day, flam, or you could say one and two and three, and then a rest on beat four. Okay, just to remind you, a flam is that little grace note, low hand, another high hand here, and it's all one motion. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play the snare part for number four, Shepherd's Hay. One and two and ready, go. Rest. Rest. there at the end, the two flams, flam, flam, kind of alternated. One flam this way, and then the opposite. So you can practice that at home, just going back and forth. You don't have to get terribly fast at your flams, uh, just accuracy. Okay, so Next, um, I want to talk about the, the second line in that song. So the second line in that song is right here, tambourine, okay? And the tambourine is right here. This is kind of a rock tambourine, but it gets the job done. Um, you can play it by holding the grip here and then hitting it like that. I'm going to take that highlight off. Clear. If you had just a fully round tambourine, you would just pick one of the sides of it and kind of hit it with your fist like that. We'll get into other tambourine techniques, hopefully someday when we're together. Uh, for now, the rhythm of this, okay, is one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. I kind of think of this as being like ta, t, t, ta, ta, or do, do, day, do, do, but the first ta, I'm sorry, the first t, t, or the first do, day, is a rest. So you kind of go one, rest, and three, four, or do, rest, day, do, do, or ta, T ta ta. Just get that pulse down, and we're gonna play it on the tambourine. I know you probably don't have a tambourine at home. All right, I'm gonna do it on the tambourine so you can hear it, and then I'll show you what you can do at home. One, two, ready, play. One, rest. Three, four. One, rest. And three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two, three. Repeat. Have a tambourine at home, how can you practice that? Just click your sticks. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. And then play it through. Okay? All right. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is number five, the Crawl Dad song. Um, this is the snare drum line at the top, along with the bass drum line. We'll, we'll talk about both of those. When you get to the end of the snare drum line, you go down to the next snare drum line, not down to the next cymbal line, okay? Um, you would play all of that all the way down the page. I'm only going to do maybe two lines of, of this. Just a refresher, 
Um, there's no flams or anything like that in any of these lines. And in fact, it's not until the very end of the tune is there um, a couple of flams right here, okay? For the time being, it's pretty straight rhythm. So I'm just going to start on the snare drum and play two lines worth, okay? Crawdad song. Allegro means kind of fast. One, two, and three, and go. Ah, oh, fail. One, two, and ready, go. play the final two lines through okay i think that gets you in the pulse of it the bass drum part i know you don't have a bass drum so you can maybe turn your uh snare off play the bass drum part in that kind of a sound one two bottom line rest 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 one though there the additional line is for suspended symbol with stick and a cowbell okay the suspended symbol with stick would be these eighth notes right here and the cowbell line is the the one with the stems going down kind of look like bass drum notes notice the note head the note heads are x's that's kind of just telling you it's something different it's not always going to be x's for for symbol but it usually is it's not always going to be X for cowbell, but sometimes is, okay? It could be looking like a regular note if it had its own line, okay? But anyway, the suspended symbol with stick, let's see if I can get this into your view here. This is a suspended symbol. The way you play that is this is the bell here. This is the edge. You kind of play somewhere between the bell and all the way out to the edge. So see where it says Zildjian right there? Kind of in that area. And I'm going to play it one and two and ready and play and. Okay, so if I were to, um, you know, I would normally be standing up and playing that, but I'm kind of cramped on room here. It's very repetitive. As you can see, that's a repeat sign. It means play that measure again. This is a repeat sign, which means play that measure again, which is really that measure. And then that's a repeat sign, which play, which means play that measure, which is really that measure, which is really that measure. So it's actually this rhythm one, two, three, four times. And that's why there's a four there. It says, hey, that's the fourth time you're playing that rhythm. And then you come down to the next line and you're playing that rhythm again and again and again and again. And that says, hey, that's the eighth time we've played it. And then here it says, hey, that's the twelfth time we've played it. And then finally on the last line it changes up. Okay? So that's pretty much it for that song. Uh, all right. Number six is suspended symbol. I don't have a pair of mallets in here. But you would take like two yarn mallets and kind of hold your symbol like this and play single stroke rolls quickly. Okay. We'll do a lot more of that, hopefully in person. Or if we have to remotely, we'll get into that. But number seven, where, uh, so six, don't worry too much about. Number seven, wearing in the green. This is going to be kind of, your, kind of the first real snare drum challenge for you. Okay, it's got quite a few flams in it. Okay, and they're in not necessarily like right on the downbeat every time. So it's like one and two and. So that flam is on an upbeat. All right. So let me play through some of this so you can hear it. Oh, and it has a pickup note. Okay, so hopefully you're familiar with pickup notes. It's kind of 
notes that come before the first full measure. This is a full measure. Four beats in it, eight hits, one and two and three and four and. But this is only four and, okay? So I'll count one, two, three, and you play on four and one. All right? Here we go. One, and put my pad on, cut down on the sound. One, two, three. Notice that when I repeated right here, it goes back to here, not to the pickup notes. It goes back to here, the first flam. Okay. Now I don't expect you to play that that fast yet. You know, I would start off playing. You know, one, two, three. Sorry, you can't really see the drum in this. Can you? One, two, three. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Notice how the flams alternate. Okay, it goes from being a right handed flam and then left, right, and the next one's a left handed flam, high left hand, right, left, and then a right handed flam. That's an important rhythm to get fast, being able to go. Okay. Nice and steady down there. All right. Um, and then the bottom line of that one is sleigh bells. We're not going to worry about that. Just worry about the snare drum part for this week. And uh, hopefully you guys are all able to play all of that and we can listen to each other play. Again, play along with me when I'm playing it. it it's a big help to have you know, someone to play along with. That's why I'm making these videos for you guys. Okay, everyone have a great week.